Good morning, students. This is Miss Adrian, and I want to do a red word with you today. And I chose to come outside because it is sunny and beautiful, but also because not everyone has all of the red word materials at home. You might not have these just laying around. So a substitute can be your driveway for this. So if all you need is a piece of paper, because I know you probably don't have our little um, papers like these that are printed out at home either. So we're going to make our own and you can do this anytime at home with any word that you want. Take your piece of paper and fold it into three, three ways. Then that gives you this size and shape. Just take some scissors and cut it out. And now you have your red word paper and you get to choose your word. And a lot of us made a lot of great progress with our red words. We got through um, a large part of our layer one red word list. So I'm choosing a word today that's not at the beginning of the list, but it's about two thirds of the way down the list. And this is a word that several students found tricky because it is a very difficult word. I'll write it down right here. And what you can do is write your word on your piece of paper, and then you have your red word, saw, S-A-W. Now, the video might kind of be showing it to you backwards, but you know when you hold it up to yourself, it says S-A-W, saw. All right, so we're gonna start our red word. So first we're gonna think about this word and use it in a sentence. One example that I might use is to say, I saw a robin. I'm starting to see the beginning of spring, which is very hopeful. So that is um, one way that we use this sentence. The word saw means to see something with your eyes in the past. And you spell it S-A-W, saw. So we're gonna do it our red word way. And first, trace the word on our bumpy screen. So here's our sidewalk and it's our new bumpy screen. All right, ready, right. S A W saw. S A W saw. S A W saw. There you go. See, it looks similar to our bumpy screen and it does a similar thing with helping you feel all the little parts of writing that. And three times is how much we say our red word every time we do something with it. So now we are going to arm tap our red word. Ready, go. Then after that, we're going to put our word down and take out our tracing finger and trace over that bumpy feeling three times. Ready, right. S A W saw. S, whoops, let's see. A W saw. S A W saw. Great. And then comes the sky right. Ready, go. S A W saw. S A W saw. S A W saw. Great. Now we're going to get the feeling of writing it all by yourself. So you write it in the corner of your paper three times. Ready, go. S 
A W saw S A W saw S A W saw there we go and now turn your paper over and try to remember how to write it how do you spell the word saw S A W saw wonderful okay we get to do the fun part now hopefully you all have a dry erase board at your house whoops here's the white side all right now grab a red marker if you have it and write your word at the top of the board s a w saw and then we will write our Capital at the beginning of the sentence, period at the end of the sentence. Actually, I chose an exclamation point because it was so exciting to see a robin. And there's your word saw for the day. Thanks for practicing with me, and I will do another one soon. Have a great day. Bye.